Hello everyone, welcome to Harry B's Creative Minds Tech channel and today in this video I'm going to be doing an overview of Screaming Frog SEO Spider 17.1, the unlicensed version. Um, and for those of you who don't know, um, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization um, and this tool or piece of software scans uh, your website and tells you what's wrong with it um, and allows you uh, to fix it or your developer. Um, and the first thing you do is you enter the URL into your spider and then you can see it searching. I'm using the screamingfrog.co.uk website and you can see the crawl is going up to 15, 16, 17% and that's the tool scanning through the website. And then a, a pop-up box comes up. It says the free version of Screaming Frog SEO Spider is limited to crawling 500 URLs. Um, for beginners, it's good to use the trial version. For those professionals like um, digital marketeers or SEO specialists, and if you need to go deeper on your website, it's got more than 500 URLs, then it's worth investing in. I'll click on purchase a license so you can see. So it takes you to the Screaming Frog uh, website and you can see the prices and it's in the £149 um, and it's per that's price per user that's for one person and if you want two or three people to have them it calculates the price for you but definitely worth investing in a, a license if you want to go uh, deeper on the website uh, because the more times you do audits for companies uh, the investment will pay itself back so i definitely recommend it um, if you want to do deeper analysis um, and uh, not just for the URLs, but to, you can also do more configurations, more add-ons in terms of um, um, linking to things like Google and other things. So I'll show you some of that later. Um, so we'll just click on X um, and we're just going to go from left to right. You can see we've done like a hundred uh, uh, crawl and just on the internal page, you can see that it's called about 326 uh, pages and these are the results. Um, you can see the content type and I won't go to go through every single thing, but just showing you briefly, if you move along, you can see the different types of information that's presented meta keywords h1s for all the urls uh, response time all the way to timestamp um, and encoded address um, so yeah and if you click on one of the urls um, you can also find some more information if you go further down uh, it gives you url details in links depending on what information is available on that page, you'll see it. Uh, so out links, you can see resources, SERPs, the search engine, uh, SERP snippets, and that's how the information might be represented on Google. Rendered page, view source is the back of the, um, uh, the code on the page that makes up the whole um, web page. Uh, and then HTTP headers, and then you've got cookies. Um, so yeah, very, very, very detailed um, information about your page. Um, and if we go on to external, this is looking at um, external uh, website links, and it goes from address all the way to in links. Um, and then you can see there's a drop down. It says all. If I, for example, wanted to just look at the JavaScript, there's none on this page. But if I go to internal and then select JavaScript, it's just going to show me all the content types related to JavaScript. And this is the filter that you can use. If I want to see images, click on images. These are the um, uh, images that related to that uh, website. Uh, you've got flash, other, unknown, um, and that's how you can filter. Right now, it's got the listing view. You can also see the uh, tree table view. You click on that. That just shows you loads of folders and how things are split up. And if I unclick that and go back to the listing view, then you can see it's a list. You can also export that. And it can be a CSV file, Excel, um, Excel work, 
Google Sheets, and then you can um, save and open, and you can save that to your local drive. Um, and I'll just click on see the browse um, and that's the directory and then click on cancels because so yeah you can save that information um, and then if you click on external I've gone through that already but I click on all again that's everything to do with the, uh, the links that are linking to your website security are things that um, you might want to look at and fix so Again, you go further deeper, all the way down to exports, um, indexability status. Status is telling you whether the page is okay or not. Um, it just lets you go through uh, any security issues on your um, website. Then you have response codes. It's how your pages are responding. Uh, when it, If it sends um, a status message out, it's whether they're indexable, various types of information here. And then you've got the URLs, which is just a URL. And again, various uh, breakdowns of uh, in detail, page titles. You've got, it breaks it down into page title one, uh, depending on how many page titles you've got on there, pixel length, indexability. Indexability is um, um, how the page is being found or indexed on um, Google. And uh, you've got meta descriptions, which is a description on the um, on your pages, meta keywords, if there's any keywords that are being used. Some of these uh, pages don't have any keywords, but if you scroll on some others, they, they do. Let's have a look. If you click on one of them, it gives you more further details. And you can see the URL details, in links, out links, image. Uh, resources, SERPs. So that's the PPC page. You can see that's how it, this is what it will look like um, on um, the PPC campaign. And then rendered page, view source, HTTP headers, and cookies. Um, and then if we go to H1, we will see the uh, headers. H1s are headers, uh, the bigger headers that you'll see on a website. And it just tells you some of the text you've got on there. It's split it H1, H1 length. That's the length of the H1, the H2s as well. And then you've got specific H2s as well. Um, some of them have text, some of them don't. One of them says support ticket. Again, you can scroll and move from left to right to get more details. Um, then we've got the content, and that's got Screaming Frog, the URL, the first URL, and it's got a word count, closer similarity match, um, and then some others, some other entries aren't, don't have return and results. You've got the language, got the hashes, and whether it's indexable or not. Total results at the bottom is 108, and then you've got your images as well. So you can see um from internal all the way to images it breaks down the information on your page and if you want to find more info just click on the details of the page and um, move from uh, left to right and you can see more details as you can see as, as i've shown you um and then we go to overview if you go to overview it tells you an overview of uh, this page it's got, it's got images and you can see um, uh, the size of the image which is 100 kb it's got it's missing an alt text um, and various things um, very lots of detail on um, the overview and then it's got issues as well these are the things that you might want to look at. If you click on it in detail, it shows you the description and then how to fix it. Um, missing colonial tags, H1s, it tells you warnings, so you know you need to fix this. It's very intuitive. Site structure as well, you can see um, what's been blocked. Um, and then green is, if you hover over it, it just shows you what the um it's also the chart and you can look at table view as well so it tells you the uh, depths the urls the totals um and then you can look at response times as well apis those are the things that are connecting um screaming frog to things like your google analytics account um and if you try doing that click here 
it says not connected and it says Google Analytics option is only available to licensed users. So you need a license to connect. However, if you're using the free version, then you can just simply connect to your own um, session of Google Analytics and just have it in a separate scheme. So you can see um, what's happening in terms of like searches. Um, but if you have a license, then you, it's easy to have it all in one, so to speak. The same with Google Search Console, and the same with uh, Majestic, Ahrefs, Moz. Uh, I think it's very good to have. Spelling and grammar as well will pick up on things like that. Again, it's very configurable. Um, so if you, you can configure um, Screaming Fog uh, for content areas, if I click on content areas, you can see you can exclude um, classes, you can exclude uh, div IDs. Um, and it says these options are only available in SEO Spider license. So yeah, for content area, you're gonna need a license. Um, but there are other things like speed, exclude, um, yeah, it says these options are also available in SEO Spy and License, but the idea is uh, this won't be um, grayed out. Uh, once you have the license, then you can put um, your excludes here. I'll just go back to configuration because this is an area to focus on. You've got API access, which I've just gone through, authentication system. Uh, it tells you memory allocation. Um, you can, um, the crawl, you can change it to three gigs, four gigs, five gigs, uh, but then each time you do, by default, it's um, uh, set to two gigs. Um, and then this says the maximum allowed here is six gigs. Um, and then once you change it, you've got to restart it. Um, so that's for memory allocation and that's how much you can use and then you've got you include cdns let's have a look again that's grayed out so for spiders include urls the ones you want to add in uh, again that's grayed out but once you've got the license you could put it in just check another one cdns the same thing so there's a lot of the areas in the configuration setting that actually need you to have the um um the license and if you go to you could also do exports you can do bulk exports and uh, depending on what you want you can bulk export the sitemaps you could do custom searches um you look at all the issues and warnings if for example we look at all the inbound links you can save that as, as a csv file i'll click on cancel so various things that you can export web pages if i click on all page source um it says export it says it's available when storing pages and is enabled to so i haven't configured it to that yet but you can export the pages um and see what else you can do and then so yeah let if site maps let's have a look again you can uh it, it'll export it to a csv file and you can save it locally um, so yeah, it's worth going through all these um, options in detail. Then report a split from crawl overview all the way to cookies, uh, chronologicals, pagination, href language. You can look at all the various languages that will save. Um, sitemaps, um, image sitemap, XML sitemap visualization. If we just clicked on a call tree, so that's the visualization, which is quite nice actually. It shows you um, in a visual manner and you can save it as well if you want. And then crawl analysis, you can start, you can also configure. Again, you need a license here. So, um, and then if you've forgotten your license, put, enter the license here. And this is mine, which I had, which expired. It was 2019. If you want a new license, you just put them in here. Um, and your username, click on cancel. And then help. You've got user guide, FAQ, support, feedback, um, and about. So if I go to user guide, it takes you to the user guide page. You've got tons of information here, how to install it, how to configure it, the tabs. Um, very, very, very useful. Um, and then you click on X. Um, and yeah, that's uh, in a nutshell, a very quick overview of um, 
Screaming Frog SEO Spider 17.1 um, on licensed version. Uh, as I said, I strongly recommend you to try download the trial version if you're analyzing uh, 500 uh, pages or less than that. If you want to go deeper, if you're an SEO specialist or digital marketeer and you want to provide more information to your clients, I would strongly recommend investing in buying a license. It doesn't cost that much and over the period of time of um, servicing clients you will get that investment back so yeah definitely worth it a very good uh, nice tool to use uh, for beginners all the way to experts um, definitely recommend it and if you like this video please um, leave some comments and um, let me know what else you'd um, uh, like to see on